I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you're either planning to go on a cruise, never been on a cruise, or you just booked one and you're like, what do I wear? What's happening on a cruise ship? Well, this video is going to be super helpful. Like, I wish I had this before I went on my first cruise, just because it's different than an on-land vacation. So I'm going to go through also some special tips to help you um, kind of plan for your cruise and know what's going on that are very, very helpful. I'm going to take you through the entire day and share outfit ideas from morning all the way till the night. And I'm super excited. Like always, everything will be linked down below. Everything was very affordable. Most of it is actually from Amazon, but it's just my absolute favorites. I literally just got back from a cruise so a lot of this is what I just wore and then some things I didn't wear so I'm not going to share those and then everything is linked below if you're interested in any of these outfit ideas let's go ahead and jump on in so typically with a cruise you will be on sale some days and some days you'll be at port which means like a destination I just went on one and we went to Cosmel and Bimini so it was like that warmer cruise experience if you're going on a cooler one this video will still be helpful but these are more directed towards warm Warmer places so this Amazon set was amazing because you can use it as a cover-up or just on its own with like a little tank top underneath so this is great for a port day because you can throw your swimsuit on underneath or if you're like no I'm not gonna swim you can just put on a tank top on this and shed the top layer if you need but runs true to size and comes in all of the color options I feel like I've tested out so many swimsuits and the one I'm sharing in today's video is just like some of my favorites so this is another really cute swimsuit option it comes with a bikini top bikini bottoms and then again another little cover-up skirt this one also does run true to size and I would say if you have a little bit of a larger chest it definitely size up on one because I feel like this can run a little bit small but it does have adjustable straps which is great I love the fun colors perfect for a Caribbean cruise trip all of these swimsuits again are great for days that you'll be porting uh, if you're going to an island etc this one I also really liked because the bikini top actually has shorter so it protects your shoulders also from the sun but you can just throw on like a cute cover-up skirt with this and you could easily go out in town or be on the cruise ship with this and it does run true to size and the bikini bottoms are nice and high-waisted so just throw on a cover-up and this would be a great option and no matter where I went I always did like to carry some type of bag so it's either this one or the belt bag the other thing is is everywhere I went on the ship during the day I would typically bring my kindle so if you love to read definitely bring your e-reader of some sort and it's easy to just throw this in here with like sunscreen and some cover up a book you know whatever you might need is easy to throw in this and it also has all of the warm weather beach vibes this is one another one of my favorite one pieces this is an asymmetrical line it's a one piece again has a cute little cutout on the side this one also does run true to size and then another cover-up option could be this really cute crocheted skirt I love this cover-up it's really comfortable great to throw on top of a swimsuit if you want to go grab something to eat. Now my specific cruise version voyages um, they have what they call the galley for lunch and breakfast so you go up there and they will actually people come and serve you so they have a few like buffet styles that you can go up and and they can give to you but it's not like a typical cruise ship where they have all of the food laid out which personally I liked it felt like more of a personal experience having them coming and getting my food as well as also definitely more sanitary but super relaxing but this one is a cover-up must-have. Also recommend bringing a hat. Now you can just throw this on your head in the airport to save space in your luggage, but I've worn this one for multiple summers now. I love this one. And then I always get questions on these sunglasses. They're really great, expensive, look for less from Amazon. I carried this with me in my little belt bag literally the entire trip. So must-haves as well as sunscreen. So it's gonna be like your packing list. I literally carried this with me everywhere on the ship. I took it working out. I took it to um, a breakfast or a lunch in the galley. This belt bag, it's its everything. So I do have the Sherpa one. Um, I also do have the black one. I can link below if you want you know, more of a chic one. This one, I was able to fit everything that I needed in it. Always, always recommend also taking a liquid IV. If you're not used to the heat, liquid IV, I always take this with me. It helps me keep me hydrated and keep those headaches at bay. And even when you're traveling, I feel like you tend to drink less water in general. Or if you drink on a cruise ship, always great as well. But I would always have like my sunglasses, my a chapstick in here. And the great thing about Virgin Voyages, the cruise that I went on, is you didn't have to carry a card around at all. Everything was 
was on a wristband, which if you're interested in the cruise that I went on, I love it. They actually running us, gave me a special discount to share through the end of April, which I will have all those details linked below. It's really, really good. So during the day, I either wanted something that I could work out in, in the morning or something that was like kind of comfy and lounge. So I love these athletic shorts from Abercrombie. I wore these with this cropped tank that's also from Abercrombie. So we would usually work out in the morning and then go eat breakfast. So this was a really comfortable one I threw on. But then sometimes it was just a little bit chilly in the morning. So these are a great option. They're not like a sweat pant, but they're buttery soft. Literally, if I want to wear like more chic sweatpants, if you will, I always go opt for these. And they're so comfortable, and especially if you're someone who tends to get a little chilly, even if you're warm area, the cruise ship can be chilly. These are essential, a must have, and they do come in petite and long sizing as well. So another kind of athletic outfit that I loved, especially if you're someone who likes to work out in the morning was this cute little Lululemon top as well as these pink leggings. Those are just some of my favorite workout pieces. You're gonna wanna bring along a good pair of sneakers for multiple reasons. First of all, if you work out, these are awesome because they're so lightweight. They literally won't add any weight to your suitcase and they're so incredibly comfortable. But also if you're gonna be doing a lot of walking on a day that you're porting, you're going to one of your destinations, these are a great option and they're just very easy, lightweight to throw in your bag. I also love this little onesie is what they call it. These are like super popular right now. They're just like the one you put it on. It's like a jumper. And then I would throw this button up on top. That way you would be, get that little bit of warmth. And then this was great to just kind of wear to breakfast or lunch, just kind of lounging around if you don't want to be in a swimsuit at the pool with flip flops. And this does run true to size. And it's also from Amazon, lots of colors. Now we've covered the morning, we've covered kind of the daytime pool time, but then dinner, usually cruises, you will book a dinner ahead of time. Now for our specific one, Virgin Voyages, we've also done one on Carnival. The one on Carnival, you went to the same restaurant every night and they just gave you different food options. But on Virgin Voyages, you had multiple different dinner options you could go to and you would book them for all of the nights, different ones for all of the nights of the cruise. So typically dinners on a cruise are a fancier outfit. And you definitely going to want to opt. You're going to want to stay away from jeans and just very casual pieces. They don't encourage sleeveless tops or baseball caps on men. And for women, they prefer you not to use flip flops. Now, these are just guidelines, etiquette that you're kind of known across cruise lines. So that is really helpful to know. So I will give some dress options as well as like some skirt, or if you're not into dresses or skirts, I will give some other options that I really like. So if you're not into dresses or jumpsuits, this one, is a really great option. I got so many compliments when I wore this. It's comfortable, very chic, makes a statement. And I wore it with this leather ruched skirt. Very comfortable. In fact, I never thought that I would love a faux leather skirt so much, but this one is nice and stretchy. I wore this together with some little heels and it was perfect. Very, very comfortable. And if you're like me, I tend to get cold in the evenings, especially at dinner. So I like to have a little bit of arm coverage if I could. And this was another really gorgeous option. Now they had a red night on our Virgin Voyages cruise. So everybody was wearing red one night. This is an off the one shoulder side zip. It's like shorter, more of like a bodycon style. If you're in between sizes, I would size up one on this, but looks gorgeous with some little heels. This one I love. This is actually a sweater dress that's short on Amazon. Very comfortable material on this. It's very nice and high quality. Comes in all the color options, but I like that it's kind of loose at the top. It's obviously a nice stretchy material and it's very flattering at the same time. And if you're someone who's not into dresses, I have great dinner options. First of all, it's going to be this jumpsuit. I have worn this so many times. It's so comfortable and chic. It comes in lots of different color options. If you're looking for a nice fancy black, they do have that option as well. This looks great with heat heels, some low block heels, and some statement earrings. You can even throw your hair up. That would look absolutely stunning. It's just a zip up the back and it's nice stretchy material. Like I said, you're going to want to have. Next up is this really cute white two piece set. So it comes with the long wide leg pants. Again, nice and stretchy and comfortable. And then it does come with more of a cropped one shoulder piece. So you only show a tiny bit of midriff on this. But it's, again, it's really nice and stretchy and you definitely have a very classy, chic, look with this one. It's like timeless. 
If you enjoyed this and want to see more cruise outfit ideas or more cruise tips, make sure to give this a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you're interested in a cruise, to check out that special discount that's going through April. We love Virgin Voyages, so highly, highly recommend. And with that being said, I'll see you all next time. Bye, friends.